There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. Your vessels are under a lot of pressure. The pressure may be from cheese in the arteries or renal disease, or hyperactive adrenals. You need to bring your BP down. The two stages of hypertension. Staging of hypertension refers to the severity of your high blood pressure reading. There are two stages, stage 1 and stage 2. There is a system that physicians use to stage high blood pressure that is based simply on the systolic and diastolic numbers found in your blood pressure reading. The systolic number is a measurement of your blood pressure while your heart pumps blood and is the number that appears on the top of the equation. The diastolic number is a blood pressure measurement while your heart rests between beats and it is the number that appears on the bottom of the equation. Treatment for stage 2 hypertension. Some types of medications used to treat stage 2 hypertension are ACE inhibitors allow blood vessels to widen by preventing angiotensin, a hormone, from forming. ACE inhibitors include lisinopril, prinavil, zestril, analopril, vasotec, and ramipril, altase. Angiotensin II receptor blockers help blood vessels relax by blocking the action of angiotensin and allowing blood vessels to relax. Angiotensin II receptor blockers include Luzartan, Cazar, Candisartan, Atacant, and Valsartan. Diavan. Beta blockers block certain nerve and hormone signals to the heart and blood vessels. To lower blood pressure, beta blockers include metoprolol, lopressor, topolexel, atenolol, tenormin, and nadolol, corgard. Calcium channel blockers prevent calcium from going into heart and blood vessel. Calcium channel blockers include amlodipine, norvasc, diltiazem, cardizem, dilacorexar, and nifedipine, adilot cc, procardia. Renin inhibitors slow down the production of renin, which is an enzyme produced by your kidneys that increases blood pressure. Your vessels are under a lot of pressure. The pressure may be from cheese in the arteries or renal disease, or hyperactive adrenals. You need to bring your BP down. The two stages of hypertension. Staging of hypertension refers to the severity of your high blood pressure reading. There are two stages, stage 1 and stage 2. There is a system that physicians use to stage high blood pressure that is based simply on the systolic and diastolic numbers found in your blood pressure reading. The systolic number is a measurement of your blood pressure while your heart pumps blood and is the number that appears on the top of the equation. The diastolic number is a blood pressure measurement while your heart rests between beats and it is the number that appears on the bottom of the equation. Treatment for stage 2 hypertension. Some types of medications used to treat stage 2 hypertension are ACE inhibitors allow blood vessels to widen by preventing angiotensin, a hormone, from forming. ACE inhibitors include lisinopril, prinavil, zestril, analopril, vasotec, and ramipril, altase. Angiotensin II receptor blockers help blood vessels relax by blocking the action of angiotensin and allowing blood vessels to relax. Angiotensin II receptor blockers include Luzartan, Cazar, Candisartan, Atacant, and Valsartan. Diavan. Beta blockers block certain nerve and hormone signals to the heart and blood vessels. To lower blood pressure, beta blockers include metoprolol, lopressor, topolexel, atenolol, tenormin, and nadolol, corgard. Calcium channel blockers prevent calcium from going into heart and blood vessel. Calcium channel blockers include amlodipine, norvasc, diltiazem, cardizem, dilacorexar, and nifedipine, adilot cc, procardia. Renin inhibitors slow down the production of renin, which is an enzyme produced by your kidneys that increases blood pressure. Hypertension per se does not kill anyone. It damages the blood vessels, and when vital organs supplied by these damaged vessels fail, it's fatal. High BP also changes the way heart functions. All these take time, years of having high BP. Death is the simplest of the problems. Stroke leads to lifelong imprisonment to one's bed in some people or lifelong poor mobility. Hypertension per se does not kill anyone. It damages the blood vessels, and when vital organs supplied by these damaged vessels fail, it's fatal. High BP also changes the way heart functions. All these take time, 
Years of having high BP. Death is the simplest of the problems. Stroke leads to lifelong imprisonment to one's bed in some people or lifelong poor mobility. Over time stage 2 hypertension will definitely kill you. There are two things that this type of untreated hypertension will develop. First it will eventually destroy your kidneys and put you on dialysis, where you either do this or eventually have a kidney transplant. Dialysis is no fun as it requires about 6 hours of your time and this occurs three times per week. Secondly it will cause your heart to enlarge putting you into congestive heart failure. Or, CHF. The heart is a large muscle that beats against itself. Consequently if it enlarges then there are areas inside the heart that do not pump well. Therefore you will eventually get to the point where your heart is not pumping sufficiently to keep your organs alive. 40% output. Most white people get this at about 55 years of age and eventually they don't last much longer than about 5 years beyond this. The few that do, struggle on for a few more years at best, and then die off as well. People of color in the USA are known to get this sooner, and die younger. There is currently no treatment for CHF, no medicines, no surgeries, no real treatment. The best thing is just not to allow yourself to get into CHF. So essentially hypertension, particularly stage 2, untreated, will result in your death. Over time stage 2 hypertension will definitely kill you. There are two things that this type of untreated hypertension will develop. First it will eventually destroy your kidneys and put you on dialysis, where you either do this or eventually have a kidney transplant. Dialysis is no fun as it requires about 6 hours of your time, and this occurs 3 times per week. Secondly it will cause your heart to enlarge putting you into congestive heart failure, or CHF. The heart is a large muscle that beats against itself. Consequently if it enlarges then there are areas inside the heart that do not pump well. Therefore you will eventually get to the point where your heart is not pumping sufficiently to keep your organs alive. 40% output. Most white people get this at about 55 years of age, and eventually they don't last much longer than about 5 years beyond this. The few that do, struggle on for a few more years at best and then die off as well. People of color in the USA are known to get this sooner, and die younger. There is currently no treatment for CHF, no medicines, no surgeries, no real treatment. The best thing is just not to allow yourself to get into CHF. So essentially hypertension, particularly stage 2, untreated, will result in your death.